Hi gang and welcome to my impromptu cookie exchange or a hot chocolate bar tree trimming party. Uh, it's that time of year there's just so many different events that uh, we can host here at home that we're also dashing off the uh, out the door for. So I just thought it'd be a little bit fun to just show you I'm planning on a tree trimming party this year. My kiddos are going to be arriving right before Christmas time and we haven't put any ornaments up on our tree because of our new kitten who loves to climb up and down trees. So we're going to be safe rather than sorry and wait until right before Christmas. And so I'm just having my own little in-home tree trimming party with hot chocolate and some cookies. Uh, but cookies are such a great little homemade gift. I always like to, to make big batches and keep them on hand and wrap them up in little fun containers. So I'll show you a couple of recipes in the next segment, but right now I just wanted to run through just a hot chocolate bar, just very, very simple. Um, and you know, just I do make the hot chocolate the old fashioned way on the stove with milk and hot cocoa. And then once that's done, I just you know pop it in the container. But I was reading there was a, a really wonderful recipe in a slow cooker, and I am always on board for something that you can put in a slow cooker and keep it all day long. So um, that's definitely an option. But once a hot cocoa is mixed, then it's just nice to have a little bar set up. And you could even, you know, bring some Bailey's cream and, you know, um, spike your hot cocoa if you wanted to. That's definitely an option. Uh, but I just have these cute little mugs. I got these last year. So it's naughty. We have naughty and nice. And we have peace and joy. We used to have Mr. and Mrs. Claus, but uh, one of those bit the dust. And you can't have one without the other. Uh, and um, so what I have just for little um, fun little things to top your hot cocoa. I just have the, the peppermint sprinkles and you can purchase these. You can get them at Target. You can get them at um, oh, the grocery store. Uh, you can even make them yourself with the, 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 you know, the peppermint candy. I just purchased mine. So you can sprinkle a few peppermint candies on top and of course cinnamon sticks are always great. And they smell so wonderful this time of year. I love it. And to be really, really decadent, I have these uh, chocolate stirring sticks. So uh, not very good for my waistline, but definitely uh, worth it. And then marshmallows, because what self-respecting hot cocoa would not, uh, or you have to have the, the uh, marshmallows, in my opinion. And then um, I just have these really, and I, bought, I bought these at Target. These are pretzel rods that are just uh, topped with the white chocolate and a little drizzle. So I'm just making my life a little bit easy there, purchasing these things. And then candy canes. Uh, and uh, one of the recipes I'm going to share with you, it's a new recipe to me this year, but they're Grinch cookies. I thought they were so cute. And one of my children, he even has a, a Grinch mug here in Athens, and uh, he absolutely loved the Grinch when he was growing up. But he had a, like a love-hate relationship with it because he was uh, loved to read the book, but then we had to take the book out of the room at night because he was a little afraid of the Grinch. So to keep him in line when he was like in th you know, three, four, or five, instead of saying Santa was watching, we would, we would just go like this with our eyebrows because you know, the Grinch had those goofy eyebrows and uh, he would immediately you know, stand up straight. So just, just a little Christmas memory there, but stay tuned and I'm gonna share that Grinch cookie recipe with you and then uh, show you how I package them just to, you know, to give nice homemade gifts away. See you then. Well, as you can see, I have my baking center set up and I popped on my little festive apron, plaid, perfect for this time of year. I love little touches like that. And I'm sharing with you a recipe. It's called Grinch Cookies. And this is the first time that I'm making them, so I will share what they taste like in the next segment. But uh, very, very easy to make. So I'm making the Grinch Cookies. I'll share that recipe. I'm also doing an, another new recipe, which is a white chocolate chip and cranberry. Uh, which just sounded divine and I'm a big sucker for chocolate chips so, so that's in. My old standbys are sugar cookies and Mr. Styles favorite which is the spritz cookie which is always very easy to make and I had to go and uh, buy, purchase a new cookie press and since I have, I have a serious case of arthritis so you can see that's how I can um, that's that's my fist right there so I guess I won't be punching anybody but uh, it's very hard for me sometimes just to, to grasp things and you know grab on. So anything that makes my life a little bit easier, I am all for it. And the OXO brand, they're very good about that. And I just really love this cookie press. So you just go like this. So it's just a, a little ratchet and then it's just, you just plop them out 
and they have this nice little case and lots of different uh, shapes that you can make. I'm going to start off with the Christmas tree. So that's for Mr. Style. So I found that. And then I also found this too when I was at Target. This is just a, this is from Wilton who does the wonderful uh, cake accessories, or that's what I remember them by. And so this, I just had to have this. So first off, it's red. And second of all, you could you know, scoop almost all of your cookies off at the same time. So. Uh, so those are my new little finds, and then I'll just quickly just share with you what goes in the um, the cookie dough uh, to make the cookies, and it's a two-step process. That, so there's icing that is um, that you just you know kind of pipe these little, like little hearts onto the cookie, but the so that's the second step. So you make the, the icing, and you use red uh, you know gel uh, food coloring for that. But for the cookie itself, this is why I liked it. I like shortcuts this time of year, especially because we're all short on time. And this, or these are cookies with the, that's made with a um, cake mix. So vanilla cake mix, so that's the base. Two eggs, one stick of butter, because what's a cookie without butter? And some oil, just one tablespoon of oil, and cream of tartar, and I'll have the entire recipe down below in the, in the box, in the instruction box. And then green gel, because the Grinch was green, so these cookies are green. So that's the first step. So you so you put that all together, make up your batter, and then um, what I've already prepared. So this is what you're going to dip the, the cookie dough in. So it's one cup powdered sugar, one cup cornstarch, and so when the cookie dough is ready, I have my handy little ice cream scoop. This is just a teeny tiny one to make nice sized cookies. So I just scoop up my dough. I just you know flour it with the powdered sugar and cornstarch, pop it in the oven to bake, and then, and it, you'll see in the, in the next segment, it just has, well, from the pictures anyway, I hope mine turn out. So we'll cross our fingers. Mr. Styles always telling me I need to do these things before uh, filming day, but hopefully I'm usually a pretty good baker, so I think that they will turn out okay. But So, it, so the, the white, uh, like little, you know, uh, coating just kind of has this nice little frosting on top. So. In just a moment, I'm going to show you how those cookies turned out and then just some cute ways that you can package them to, you know, to give us gifts, whether it's your postman or the UPS person. I mean, I am best friends with the UPS person being a style blogger um, or, you know, whoever it is on your list. And just think homemade cookies are just a nice gift to give. So stay tuned. I took you through step by step. So hopefully you can see. Actually, these are very easy cookies to make and they're not a big batch but they're quite tasty they're very they're soft cookies which i i always appreciate a soft cookie perfect for gift giving i also thought it would be cute to give them to santa too if you have a little santa plate if you have grandchildren i don't have grandchildren yet but when my guys were little we would put cookies on a plate for santa so a reindeer a carrot uh, so that'd be nice for that too but i just had this cute little box i just picked this up at michael's and i just put so half a dozen fit in just like that you just pop, you know, pop the top, put a little ribbon on it, and it's just a lovely uh, homemade gift. Or you can just take this off to a cookie exchange, whatever it is. But it's wonderful to have homemade cookies this time of year. Super easy recipe and very tasty. Okay, gang, that's it for this week, and I'll see you on Sunday when we're talking about style. Thanks for tuning in, and give me a thumbs up if you like the video. And, of course, subscribe. See you later.